walking through the uh, streets of Carlisle in full camo and a chest bag. You get some weird looks. <laughs> I uh, actually have my zebra can with me this week so I won't have to boil water in plastic and have all the plastic police and trolls after me. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of graphic, but we're all good. Uh, also on this trip I want to see if I can get that wine bottle that I found last week and just uh, do a little test to see if I can actually boil water in a glass bottle or the wine bottle that I found, just to see if I, in the future, then I've got another alternative. Because I'm under the influence that the glass bottle may shatter. But we'll see. It's white over there on the hills. Got to minus two degrees last night. I'm expecting minus three tonight. Awesome. Perfect blue sky, sun's beating down on us. So this uh, fallen tree is still here, right across the path. You can see it, it's, uh, it's split right down the trunk and that portion is over the fence. No one's, uh, it's been like a week and a half since I've seen that last. It's uh, surprisingly not been moved. Look at that, the trees are defrosting. The sun's hitting the frosting. Absolutely awesome. The bridge is there, it's still there that we normally use. It's uh, a little bit higher up now. Let's see if it's still stable. Look at all that. That's from a spot. Oh, I see trees on the bank. And a few dogs. The river that uh, supplies us with our firewood. Imagine the size of that tree. That's just like a side limb. You can see the break there. You'll see a, so, a stone uh, bank that isn't covered with water this year, time of year. Just uh, scoping around for wood and that, for other possibilities for camps. Got all that there. It's just like a pile. Love it. This one. Oh my leg, yeah. It's been here for about ten years. It's been jammed in there. It just gets stuck every time it floods. This place has proper been washed out. It's not a thing on it apart from just new driftwood and the odd bit of litter that's 
washed out flooding. I always pick as much as I can up and try and unblock these smaller streams too just to keep things flowing. See this little tiny stream here? It's like a break off of the river on the other side of the flood plain. I'm just thinking like how epic would it be for a uh, I've seen them on YouTube, quite a few people have done them, water wheel, spit roast pole things. That is totally on my to-do list to try. It's a bit doable right there. <laughs> that pit's over there. I think I'm gonna head on them along the path and see. The riverbank camp. Got two nights out. Can you just imagine falling into there? That is diabolical. Very hard and wooden too. I'm still sitting on this flood plain and I really, really want to camp here tonight. And I've just been like checking the weather all along the river and uh, I might get away with it like. I don't know. Because I'm meeting Adam tomorrow morning and we're going to camp at the moss shelter. So, tonight is completely free. And yeah, I can't think of a, it's just like, untouched since the floods, so it's, it's really juicy. Lots of good stuff here. I've officially carried my kit onto the middle of this uh, flood pair. I've also started eating sausage rolls. <laughs> I love sausage rolls. Uh, I've messaged Tim, told him where I'm, at, where I'm at, and if he's interested he should come camp because it's three degrees on this flood plain now. So when the sun drops, it's going to be diabolical and there's lots of wood here so yeah we'll ride out the cold one here I'm walking around and because I've, I've got my ground dwelling kit with us yeah I really want to be at the highest point which is pretty much where I'm at over there that doesn't leave as much option for the fire I should have brought my canvas tarps never think Definitely don't want to be in one of these low canal bits. And I should really be higher than that over there.
that's my 3.5 DD tarp up and uh, just pulled out at the back I'm going to sleep on that stump there it's like a raised bit of ground wool blanket. Got my roll mat down there already. <coughs> and my British Army Arctic sleeping bag. with duct tape patches my bivy bag Oh, have it. All sorted. Got it out there, it's it's points pegged there and pulled out over there. Around this tree. I circled out a uh, sort of fire pit in front of my shelter so you can sort of see the shape it's going to drive a lot of heat into there
what a debris hit in that tree. I'm back at my shelter now with all this firewood and that's just like one man ten minutes that's how juicy it is here for firewood <laughs> driftwood and that so I will admit I haven't had a camp stove in a long time and I was in Cotswolds the other day and they had a sale on and I seen a really cheap one so I got it and yeah I'm uh, I'm gonna have a brew Without lighting a fire. I'm gonna wait until Tim gets here for that. So yeah, this uh bought it. A little stove. God you know this camp stove's on my mat starts going. Still going strong, strong Paul, this spoon. It's just going to go everywhere. <laughs> it actually reaches to the bottom of my cup too. And here's Tim. I'm going to watch him uh, walk over that log. <laughs> See if he falls on the slippy moss. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. Just think, watch it's very, very slippy. I bet it is. It is, mate. You notice it's higher up too. Yeah, it's real Oh, can't believe you didn't fall. You're so selfish. <laughs> so. Uh, how bushcraft I am, guys. <laughs> Very swanky. Did you drive here on that motorbike with that? No, it's it was in my bag. All oh, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fair play. Fair play.
the guideline list. That's all walls around the fighters as well. Yeah, but we can, we can manipulate it, move them back if you want it bigger, if it gets cold later. See the little speckles, uh, stingy little mm. stinging nettles starting to come up. They're always nastiest when they're fresh, baby little. Yeah, well. vicious. <laughs> See all the little barbs on them. Just dropped to one degree now. So I'm about ready to get my fire lit. Tim's all set up. Get a cool set up. See the sun setting through the trees. Fire is now lit. Didn't take much given all of this uh, firewood I've dragged in. Loads of it. It's burning really hot already, Tim. Warm up my legs. Up. Uh, just enjoying some Turkish delight. What? Turkish delight is gorgeous. There's a helicopter up. Something I know ahead of us is there. So yeah, back to the Turkish delight. Turkish delight is awesome. Look at this firewood. 
is everywhere. So here is a, uh, me and Tim have been just sitting here planning. So here's an outer wall. This is the airframe roof. Then you've got the octagonal. octagonal walls with the two beds in. Then this little thing here is the kiln. So the whole shelter will be willowed with log walls on the inside and then with an airframe over the top of it but extending the entire thing so you've got all this dry space under here and then this will be a fire reflector and then a fire yeah, just playing with sticks good way to put on our shelter yeah ok so we'll put a warning out of this don't chuck wet stones on the fire because they'll explode so we've chucked a wet stone on the fire. <laughs> We're gonna put a, wait until it's nice and hot and then we're gonna pull it off to the side and cook some salmon on it. But we're just standing well back at the moment until it reaches a, a hot temperature. Over oh, here a big pop. Go on. We're so professional. <laughs> That is actually quite dazzling. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that alright? Yeah. So we have a hot stone that we've had in the fire for about 25-30 minutes. And I've just put three bits of salmon fillet on. And literally you can see it cooking already. Amazingly, you can smell it. It's like magic. Bring you in for a closer look at this salmon. Yeah, Yorkshire. It changed it for me when that guy Will was there. Uh, Explain to us about stones. And um, yeah, man, the knowledge I got from that bit was epic. And tonight, because of the pass on of information, we have awesomely cooked salmon. Just turned it. That is the skin.
I didn't think it was going to come off as easy as that. I thought it was going to stick as well. I did to too. I've even impressed myself there. Tim's going caveman and going right off the rock. <laughs> I was just telling John about a story there from when I was younger. Um, I used to live in a valley in the middle of the countryside and I used to go out and have fires around the place. And uh, one time a stone had split inside the fire uh, and it was sweltering hot and I didn't realise there was a bit of a shard of it on the ground. And then knelt down to uh, blow into the embers of the fire and knelt right on the shard of steaming oh. rock. And it was just a little sharp piece, and yeah. it went like right into my knee, and it was like waterizing as it oh. as it cut into us. It was really unpleasant. That is nasty. Yeah. I remember one time I got a kettle, and oh man, I must have been about seventeen or something. And I got a kettle, and it had a plastic handle, and I had it right in the middle of the the uh, fire and the, the plastic handle melted but I like I realized that it melted and so I got this big pole and I flicked it out of the thing and it went up the tree and I thought nothing of it I just carried on with my camping and accepted the loss of the cattle and then I was standing next to my fire and all of a sudden I had the most seething pain run down my back of my neck. Oh no. And it was on fire in the tree and the molten plastic had dripped and got me right on the back of the neck. Nasty. So that was my uh, stupidity with a kettle. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... I had like five drips on my back. Not nice. I was throwing sticks at the top of the tree to get it out and that and put it out. So campfire is blazing, temperature's gone down to minus one degree, we're all getting, yep, fine by the fire, my shell is absorbing heat which is a good thing, yeah loving life, chilling out, that salmon was delightful by the way, so good. it was, it was so good wasn't it? in now. Awesome long log fire burning next to me. So I'm quite warm, I'm getting heat down one side. And plus I'm wrapped up very well. Yeah, we'll catch you all in a couple of hours. Mm. Good morning people. It's very cold and very frosty. I'm gonna get some firewood and get that fire going again. Yeah, you can see that ice on here. And also, my microfiber blanket. Coffee. And a nice bonfire to warm us up. Warm up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I got two holes in my tarp last night just big sparks off the fire one actually hit the tarp and fell right through and landed on Tim's softy jacket it's alright I can fix them <laughs> oh it's not very thick Like white and icy. Oh, 
Oh, I see some more ice. Nutritious breakfast of porridge oats. Looking forward to that one. Well, stick to your ribs, that one. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> breakfast of champions porridge. <laughs> and Tim took it on himself to add Mars bars to it. Put a Mars bar in his porridge. Mars bar in porridge, that's good. Just ruin the porridge. So we're just burning off the last few bits of wood. I'm almost packed up, got all my bedding and stuff away and I'm gonna tidy it up, just got my brew bar still, my base tarp down. I've even managed to do it without disturbing the flowers. <sighs> Ash off the fire. How my tops get burnt. Yeah. I'm here. We're uh, Tim's getting off home now because he's just out for a one nighter. I'm still waiting on Adam coming, so I'm just going to chill here. I've got the fire minimalized down a bit to uh, 
one man size and Tim's gonna split. It's been really good people. Yep. Had a really good time and uh, I hope you all enjoyed John's next bit of the video. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to watching it myself. I hope a snowstorm comes, eh? Yeah, I'll be sad if I've missed it. Uh, I it, hope it, it does. I'll, I'll miss it, I'll be sad. I hope it does. Camera on camera action. <laughs> Bye! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Well, we're alone again. So hopefully Adam will be passing Tim on the path. I've told uh, Tim to tell him that Adam is late. <laughs> but either way, I'm going to give it another half an hour here and then I'm going to head up to the woodland camp, I think, not to the woodland camp, to the uh, riverbank camp, yeah, because we're expecting a massive drop in temperature tonight and a lot of snow, we're on a yellow warning for snow, which never really happens, so it'd be exciting to see if it does actually happen for a change, but we'll see. Plodding on through the uh, frozen mud. Still sink and get muddy the same, but it's just colder. <laughs> Plodding on to the next camp. Quite a good walk through that first woodland. Very wet and muddy. My, my uh, 4.5 by 3.5 tarp. Started to just peg it out and make a little shelter in front of that fire for two. Big enough. I'm just uh, sorting out this big duct in the roof here. Take a second. Go back. Then all our sleeping area. Mine there. Food bag here. Still got the fire pit to sort out. But yeah, it's going to be cosy. Adam is the. Very, very small, one wax lid, which is basically just like wood shavings that would soak in wax. And it's starting to build up nicely with all these twigs, and then I've got bigger stuff here. Just waiting for it to grip this a little bit more first before I put a lot more on it. So that's uh, the inside pretty much sort sorted. The fire is lit, and the grill's on burning off. Lots more wood drying, standing. Adam's still sorting out his kit. I'm gonna chuck on a quick steak. 
got the stakes on the go. This one's mine, I like mine well done. How do you like your steak? Oh, the same. Same. I like that burnt charcoal kind of <laughs> crispy outside edge. <laughs> that old man flavour. Yeah. Same with my bacon. I love it crispy. I like bacon crispy. There's a, a sample of Adam's. <laughs> that bit, can I? Yeah, I did most of it with a ruler. I should have done it freehand, but yeah. and thicker leather. I thought it was like one of your boys' projects. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the one I had on it before. It just yeah. kept falling off. <laughs> Put it in with my kit. Pull it out. All my kit's got holes in them. Is that the one you hit a nail with? Yeah, the nail that you put in. It's so bitter. Look at this. It's not that bad. You can't even tell. <laughs> 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 Just sense that sarcasm there. Yep. It's not as bad as your axe, though, Matthew. My axe isn't bad. Your axe is bad. <laughs> My axe is fine, it's nice and sharp. You don't know how to sharpen axes, well, you, don't, you just don't do it. I, di I know how to sharpen, as you say, I just don't do it. There you go. It doesn't need it, it's still sharp. No, you just need to hit things ten times harder to come. What? I've seen you chopping down. The My axe things. would beat your axe any day. In a chopping competition, I would destroy your axe. I don't know, we're going to have to put that to the test. Nah, you're, you, you, you're, I've won before you even started it. <laughs> you know I have. We'll see. There's a lot, see that log down there on the beach? Uh -huh. See it? Yeah. We'll if you go on the, the left hand, no. No, it, yeah, you go on the left hand because side. Because it's skinnier that I'll, side. I'll do the far right. No, we'll both go halfway down the trunk. <laughs> okay, you want after the steak, <laughs> that is chopping up. The sun gone right behind the brow now. Shot is lit up. Fire's going. It's a little bit puny at the moment, but we're going to start building it up because the temperature's gone down rapidly. Still no snow, but we'll see. Optimistic about it. <laughs> Be with an electric start jet boiler and all that. Lift the gas up, let's see the height of the gas. Oh my god. It roars, doesn't it? Oh, does it. I've got mine here. The heat of that pipe, it incinerates the piezo ignition thing. Yeah. You know, when you oh, so the electric start doesn't work? It starts to bend over with the heat because oh, there's really? so much heat. <laughs> Melting. Quality kit. Chocolate steam pudding. Yours probably bought them already. <laughs> it's like. Just gonna let it boil for a few minutes. Hey? No, I'll get it in a minute. Just chilling out the full length of the fire. Relaxing. My head torch doesn't blind you. Yep, been a brilliant camp. It's time to chill next to the fire now and do pretty much nothing apart from drink hot beverages and wait for the weather to change. So where uh, the temperature's dropped and the skies are grey and it looks like it's going to snow. They are grey, alright. They are going to grey. Do you admit it? I admit it. Do you admit it's going to snow? Yeah. No. M maybe. It'll snow. Let's hope it snows. I've got faith. If it doesn't, if it snows, Adam's got to sing the snowman song. I'm not singing the snowman song. You're singing the snowman song. <laughs> I only know like one verse of that song. That, that'll I do. Singing it. Sing, I'm telling you, if it snows, you're singing that song. Just for doubting the uh, fire.
fact that it was going to snow. I'm not agreeing to it. You are agreeing to it. <laughs> it's on video it. now, it's law. <laughs> it's true. You can't get away from it. Don't run. <laughs> it's the, I have an axe. I don't care. <laughs> Snowman song. <laughs> we're just talking about uh <laughs> we're just talking about a deep a deep uh, kind of like tip for tat <laughs> that Adam and I have going and it all speds back to when he poured water in my sleeping bag on the mountainside and I almost died and uh yeah but no you had a you had a survival blanket and you wrapped yourself up in it and put yourself back in your, your freezing cold soaked sleeping bag. <laughs> no, but have you ever tre slept in one of those survival blankets? Well, it's um, tin foil and it does nothing. <laughs> it's survival because it's like survival not comfortable. But it was well, waterproof and it stopped you getting wet by your soaked sleeping bag. You which was taking all the heat away from my body. <laughs> Oh, but the silver foil was reflecting your heat back into it your body. It did nothing, Adam. <laughs> I still remember that night shivering in the corner of that tent. I can't remember much of that, man. I think I was asleep. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have been bad <laughs> if you, like, gave us a leaf of your sleeping bag or somewhere. What? So, a proper like, teammate. One dry sleeping bag and one soaked sleeping bag, and it's like, well, the, the dry one was mine. Right. And yours was wet. But it was yours. So you There's could. no I in team. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could have like opened that sleeping bag up and give me a leaf. No. You just let me freeze to We've death both almost. Been cold. And then and you had the bright had idea. The next What's the day. What's the point both of us having a bad night's sleep when just one of us could have a bad night's sleep and it's oh, alright? Yeah, just so harsh. So yeah, I've been getting you back ever since. <laughs> yeah, you burnt and my bed. What do you mean, burnt your you, bed? You burnt my bed. <laughs> I didn't burn that bed. That was rotten, that bed. It wasn't rotten. It was raised. It No. <laughs> I it was rotten. No. You burnt it because I soaked your sleeping bag. That's one of them. Right. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that. Mm. I did burn your bed. There you go. But only because it, it was like... Oh, it was just such an... I hated that bed, Because eh? you didn't make it. No, it's not because yes, I didn't is. make it. Yes, it is. It's not... It could have been anybody made that bed and I still would have felt the same about it. And the fact that the shelter was changing, it it wasn't needed anyway. So I burnt it. Thanks. I burnt lots of other things too. I burnt walls I've built. <laughs> You're not special, all right? You're not special. Burn stuff all the time. Okay. No. Tim was carving a cookson, a cookser, and I almost burnt that. It's you, you know, you know, you know. I don't select you out. Everyone gets the same treatment. <laughs> It's all good, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter either. We'll just make another one, innit? Make yeah. it better. I, won't I wouldn't make the one. slats go that way. Not, not uh, again. change the slats. Yeah. Charlotte's warming up nicely with yeah. the fire. Um, and she went my bed. Got some chicken breasts in there, some potatoes in there, some vegetables in there. Have a little chicken dinner before bed. A little chicken dinner. A little chicken dinner. <laughs> the owls are going crazy. Chicken dinner. <laughs> Tiny little plate. <laughs> yeah, it's titanium, you know. Titanium means melt. Uh-huh. It's as thin as paper. It is. <laughs> well, that's me all tucked up now. We'll catch y'all in a couple of hours. Yeah, well, check this out. To wake up to in the morning. Good uh, two inches of snow. Overnight. Insane. So yeah, about an inch and a half overnight here. And uh, yeah, the trees are like a winter wonderland. 
It's been a long time coming. I'm gonna get up and play in the snow. A lot harder to find uh, wood now. I think it's just white. It's absolutely awesome. Still going now. That is bloody awesome. Stash firewood under here without snow on it. Loving it. Finally got the fire going. Took some doing. Yeah, we've just got the old uh, stove on. Get a coffee burning. And I'm just getting the cat zebra can. Yeah, we're just heading up to the moss camp now to check what that looks like. It's not that bad in here, not as sick as it is outside. Absolutely awesome. It's just sitting on top of everything. the moss camp. How awesome is that? We'd have been fine if we'd stayed there, right? You don't think? Eh? It's awesome, isn't it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> look at that. Brilliant. <sighs> you dug, a nut, dug the fire pit out nicely, Matt. shelter down <laughs> just pulled it down around Adam <laughs> he's sorting out his stuff <laughs> snow in the woodlands got a lot thinner now because it's all melting off the trees dripping down but yeah awesome night didn't even tell it was snowing when it was snowing <laughs> Until you drop loads of snow on my head. Until you, until I, I found there was a, a snow bubble weighing down the tarp, so I pushed it off and it fell on Adam's head while he was sleeping. <laughs> Accidental. It was a good wake-up call. <laughs> my baggage there. My nice warm winter gloves. Keep my fingers warm. I'm just doing his boots. It's Adam's rucksack there with the no side pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you hate the fact you don't have side pockets, don't you? Oh, it's crap. <laughs> you can fit paper in them. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> like a map, maybe. <laughs> nothing else. It's quite cold, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we finally got a, a half a snow camp anyway. That is one heck of a sledging hill right there, Adam. I wish I had a wheelie bin lid. Do you know where they, uh, they made them uh, bean crops? Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be a good one too, eh? Proper steep hill. Me splitting ways now. I've had a wonderful night. 
<laughs> Brilliant. Oh, it's been grand. Cheers, tiny lad. No bother. You take care. I'll see you next well, time. Well, guys, that's us for this one. Again, thanks for watching our adventure. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the constant support. We'll check you all in the next one.